Lutate 177 Dotate Therapy for Neuroendocrine Tumors by Sanjeev Bagayam. Neuroendocrine tumors represent malignancies that overexpress somatostatin receptors. Neuroendocrine tumors image using somatostatin analogs labeled with gallium 68 like gallium 68 dotate. Lutetium 177 is a beta emitting radionuclide that is used for treatment of neuroendocrine tumors. Lutetium 177 dotate is typically given in a dose of 200 milligrams every 8 weeks. Typically, 4 cycles are given for this treatment. Prophylactic amino acid IV and antiemetics are given. Each treatment can last 5 to 8 hours. To confirm somatostatin receptor expression on the tumor, the patient should have a positive gallium-68 dotted PET scan or indium-111 octreous scan. On the indium-111 octreous scan, lesion uptake greater than liver is required to start this treatment on gallium-68 based somatostatin receptor PET lesion uptake should exceed liver uptake. Lab values should be checked every two weeks before each cycle. Blood urea nitrogen, creatinine, albumin, alkaline phosphatase, aspartate, aminotransferase, alanine, aminotransferase, total bilirubin, white blood cell with differential count, hemoglobin and platelet counts are checked. Lutetium-177 therapy should be done four weeks after the last long-acting somatostatin analog therapy to prevent interference with somatostatin binding. Short-acting somatostatin analogs used as a bridge should be stopped 24 hours before treatment. After finishing lutetium therapy, somatostatin analogs can be given after a few hours. Objects that come in contact with the patient such as stretcher, chair, floor and lower walls are covered with prophylactic protective covering as body fluids, urine are radioactive after lutetium-177 dotate therapy. An attached toilet in the therapy suite will help the patient avoid frequently on the completion of lutetium-177 therapy. Venous access in the anticubital fossa is preferred to IV lines are established to give lutetium therapy and amino acid infusion. To protect the kidneys and decrease reabsorption of lutetium-177 in the proximal tubules, amino acid infusions with appropriate amount of arginine and lysine are infused before, during and after therapy, the high osmolality associated with commercial amino acids causes nausea and vomiting requiring antiemetics. Nausea and vomiting occur with IV infusion rates above 250 ml per hour of commercial amino acid solutions. A pre-medication regime consisting of a 5-HT3 antagonist, an NK1 receptor antagonist and an H2 receptor antagonist is given. Amino acid infusion rate of 320 ml per hour requires doses of 5-HT3 antagonists with D2 receptor antagonists. Benzodiazepines and dexamethasone may be given after infusion of lutetium-171 therapy. Lutetium-177 has a half-life of 6.6 .6 days. Blood and urine are the main sources of radioactive contamination during and after therapy. Lutetium-177 is primarily excreted in the urine. 44% of lutetium-177 is excreted within 5 hours, 58% within 24 hours, and 65% within 48 hours after administration. 
it is important to prevent urinary contamination in the first three days.